Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Justin and tonight is a very special night. The Toronto Maple Leafs are up 3-1 to one in their first round series against the Montreal Canadiens and tonight they have the opportunity to win the series in five games being their first first round playoff series win since 2004. It's been that long the Toronto Maple Leafs have not had playoff success as of recently. So, it's an exciting opportunity, one that uh, I think most Leafs fans have been looking forward to for quite some time. However, I do see a lot of people online already making statements given that the Toronto Maple Leafs have already won this series. I'd like to invite everybody to just sit back and just take a step back here. The Leafs have not won this series yet. Uh, I think it was two times that the Leafs played the Boston Bruins where they were down 3-1 to one in the series and pushed to Game 7. Ultimately, of course, we did not win those series, but... 3-1 to one is not something that we can just expect this series to be over, especially a resilient group like Montreal. Obviously, Toronto does have a big advantage in this skill, in the series. We've seen that they've dominated so far in their play, but that's not to say that it can't be done. So, I just invite everybody just to have a little bit of a hesitancy before saying that the series is done. Let's say it once it's actually accomplished. Let's get that fourth win. Let's not just take a step back and, and assume that it's over. We have to put the pedal to the metal. Uh, hopefully they can do that tonight. Uh, I think tonight will be the toughest game to win outside of game one, where obviously we had that JT injury and ended up losing the game to Montreal. But I think tonight will be a very, very tough test. They always say the fourth win in a series is the most difficult to achieve. So let's get it done. Hopefully tonight, worst case, Saturday night. But uh, let's just not count our chickens before they hatch here and not assume that we're going to win. Now, I did want to bring up some very exciting news that John Tavares is back on the ice this morning and skating. Now, there's a little bit of uh, a complicated approach in my head towards this. Obviously, we want to make sure that John Tavares is doing things the right way, not pushing himself back prematurely. When dealing with a concussion, that's so difficult to tell. I mean, some people, when they get a concussion, can be totally fine and symptom-free within days. And some people, they could have lingering effects with maybe less severity of an impact for months on end. So it's super hard to, to gauge when exactly John Tavares will be completely cleared to play hockey again. But the fact that he's on the skate on the ice rather and skating is a very positive sign today it looked like he was taking it quite easy he's also got that knee injury that he's uh he's uh, rehabilitating for the time being it looked as though that knee injury was a result of when he passed out when he was getting up he fell backwards on his knee maybe twisted a little bit that's how i think he got it um but it's good to see he's on the ice and a really good sign. I thought when we had that impact, of course, I made a video on my reaction to it. I thought John Tavares was in serious trouble. I was shocked that he didn't have structural damage of any sort to his head, his neck, his spine. So the fact that he's already skating and it's been, what, one week today, uh, it, it's just a fantastic sign. I still do struggle, though, between this idea that we admire athletes for pushing through and being resilient and being these brave warriors who just can't get knocked down. And in, in doing so, we kind of set this culture that players need to feel like they have to push through an injury that they may not otherwise be prepared for physically or mentally. Uh, and so I just, I, I really hope and pray that John Tavares is making the right decision here, understanding his body, uh, taking the signs from his body where they show him, you know, take a step back here or push yourself a little bit. Obviously, I think the NHL and the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to express to JT that, you know, follow the protocols and be as abundant in caution as possible. Do not push yourself. Something like a head injury. Obviously, there's constant legal work going on with the NHL and other leagues about how they deal with players and their concussions and the uh, the repercussions that that has in later in life uh, from head trauma throughout their playing time. So I hope, again, John Tavares just taking it easy one step at a time. Let's not push him back too early, but it's very encouraging seeing him on the ice. So that's it. I just wanted to address that. Of course, like I said, exciting opportunity tonight in Leafland. Hopefully they can get that done. Um, my prediction, I don't want to be a negative Nancy here, but my prediction is that the Leafs actually lose this game to Montreal. I think Montreal is going to come out hard. I think Toronto can be prepared for it, uh, but I think Montreal is just going to play super hard like it's their last game of the season, which it possibly could be. 
but I do hope, of course, Toronto is able to come out with the win and win their first series since 2004. I was nine years old. I want to be able to remember a playoff series win. So enjoy the game. What are your thoughts? Let me know about JT. Let me know about the game tonight. Hopefully the Leafs can get it done. And thank you so much for watching.